The New River Gorge hosts an array of world-class outdoor activities. And while you can do almost everything year-round, each sport has its own prime season. And as we get into the fall weather, the best time for climbing is upon us. The New River Gorge is one of the best known areas in the mountain state and for good reason. Every fall, rock climbers flock to the area in search of some of the best stone on the East Coast. The climbing in the New River Gorge is one of the best climbing destinations in the East U.S., probably in the top three major areas to climb in the eastern part of the states. With the local climbing being accessible year-round, it may seem like a warm summer day would be ideal, but for most climbers, nothing can beat a nice fall day for a number of reasons. So first off, humidity. That plays a major part in rock climbing. Um, the less humid it is, the better the friction on the rock is, uh, the harder are things that you can climb because of that, and then also lower temps. Uh, the colder it gets, the stickier the rock gets, you know, your warm skin on a cold rock, it, it really grips like a gecko, so some good stuff. For these climbers, fall is the best stuff. And it's not just because of the weather. The geology of West Virginia is responsible for some of the strongest and most high quality rock in the world. The New River Gorge is really neat because we have uh, this sandstone. It's bulletproof called Nuttall Sandstone. It's absolutely incredible. It's got great texture, um, makes really cool formations and holds on the rock. And as these climbers enjoy their time doing an incredible activity, it also gives them a great reason to become the best version of themselves that they can be. Before I discovered rock climbing, I didn't really have a lot of great reasons to want to be super healthy, to want to wake up feeling good, to want to make like really good use of my time and my day, make plans to go to cool places, and rock climbing gave me a reason for all of those things. It gave me a reason to live healthier, to want to have, you know, to want to feel better tomorrow and perform well tomorrow. It's given me a reason to go and explore places that I might not have otherwise ever gone to visit. Part of the joy of climbing is the views and experiences that you get to share with those around you. And for those in the area who haven't been able to try out this amazing sport, once you do, you won't regret it. Yeah, if you have visited this area or if you live in this area and you've never been exposed to rock climbing, I would really suggest coming out and just taking a look at what's going on or giving it a shot. You get to experience this beautiful place, this amazing, incredible landscape in a totally different way. You know, we're, we're able to walk around, hike around, and stand beneath the cliffs and stand on top of the cliffs at vistas and look at everything, but it's totally different when you're clinging to the side of the wall and you're 80 feet off the ground and there's nothing but, you know, you in the air up there and you're, you're hanging by a rope and, uh, yeah, it's a different perspective. It's like takes you out of your normal element and uh, makes you look at things a little bit differently. And if going out on your own to scale a cliff sounds intimidating, the New River Gorge is surrounded by an amazing community of welcoming people eager to show others the ropes. Um, I think there's a lot of, of, of groups of people out here that want to get people involved in rock climbing um, and, and want to take you out. They want to show you the ropes, they want to show you the boulders, they want to show you how to rock climb, they want to show you where to rock climb at, they want to teach you about the temperatures and what prime conditions are, and, uh, and they want to show you proper safe ways to, uh, to get out in nature and really experience a new side of nature that a lot of people don't, don't have. But with these cliffs in our backyard, we can experience any side of nature we want. And if climbing is something that catches your attention, go out and see what it's like to be on the side of a cliff. When you push through the scary moments or the moments when you're so tired and pumped and exhausted that you're not sure if you're gonna be able to make the next move and then somehow you make it, you stick that move and you're still holding on and you find yourself at a better hold and you're able to continue the climb. Um, surprising yourself like that is kind of magical as well. It's like, I didn't think I was gonna be able to do that, but I tried and it worked. So if it is something that you want to do this fall, check out some of the best climbing the U.S. has to offer right here in our backyard. From Fayette County with senior photojournalist Danny Delante, I'm Caleb Pearl for Newswatch.